Hey guys, welcome to my Animal Crossing New Horizons themed foods video. I have been saying I'm gonna do an Animal Crossing video for years now. I actually tried filming Animal Crossing foods before they even did the cooking update. The stuff that I was filming for the video wasn't turning out how I wanted it to, so I was very discouraged and I gave up. After they added all these foods to the game and the cooking and blah blah blah, I was like, I gotta do an Animal Crossing foods video. And then I just didn't for whatever reason. And then I was like waiting for like another Animal Crossing renaissance to happen. They're not gonna update that game, so I just gotta do it. You can't have an Emily Ewing video without ups and downs. Ooh. Ooh. No. Got him, boys. Oh. Some foods definitely turned out better than others, but that's kind of the fun of it all. And I... Also, thank you to Thread Market for sponsoring this video. You're gonna hear more about them later on. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I hope you really enjoy it. Also, I wanna say that I'm really trying to break into the TikTok shorts reels atmosphere on the internet. You will notice that for almost all the foods I'm filming vertical video as well with my phone, trying this out, doing filming both at once. It was very hard and stressful, but we'll see. Okay. So, no, but look at this. Look at that. So, we're mixing the ingredients together, making a sauce. Cornstarch slurry, girly. Water. I'm a little scared, <laughs> kind of doesn't look right. It smells so good though. <laughs> no! In the game, they look like super fluffy pancakes, almost like those um, souffle pancakes, but I don't know if they're actually trying to be souffle pancakes or if that's just how they drew them because everything is cute and chunky in Animal Crossing. And also I'm afraid of souffle pancakes, so like I don't actually want to make them right now. Like that seems really stressful and I would just rather not. But I was looking at recipes on TikTok. Edgy Veggies pancake recipe seemed very fluffy. Buttermilk. I'm doing this out of order, but I just feel like I should get this started so that it has time. Does it need time? I'm not actually sure. Buttermilk. Whew. Ew. I have to remember to like close this after I use it right away because otherwise I will just be like in like a bad mood and I don't know why and it's because I'm like sniffing vinegar. Baking soda, I mean baking powder. Coconut oil. The first one is always garbage. I'm gonna tell myself that. This is not the right spoon for this. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay. Looks good though, actually. Boom. Hey, not bad. First one is not bad, okay. But I'm scared she's eating up real quick. I cannot for the life of me. Get one of these onto the spatula. These smell so good, oh my god. I have to pick up the best looking pancakes. They're so, wow, yum, yum, yum. That one first, oh, they're so exalted. These look good. Ooh, okay. Yeah, okay. I just wanted it to be able to look. Oh, I should have opened this already. No! Very don't look as cute. <laughs> Hold on. White, white, white. Stay white. Stay white. Let's try them. And I, this is not the most ideal pancake experience because I let them sit out for quite some time. I made the mistake of letting it sit out to cool next to the me frying the pancakes. 
Mmm. It's really good. It's like a different new experience for me. I very much like it. And these pancakes are so good. I thought I'd be disappointed, honestly, when I ate them because I'm like, oh, like I'm sure it'll be good, but like I'll just want maple syrup still, you know? But no, I like this. It's a different, fun, other thing. But before we get on with the rest of the foods, I want to take a few minutes to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is... Thrive Market. If you've watched a lot of my videos before, you've probably heard me talk about Thrive Market because they've sponsored a lot of my videos and I really appreciate it. They are an online subscription-based grocery service. They basically have anything you would find in your local health food, natural foods store. You know, they got the pantry stables, they got the snacks, they got the sweets, non-food items like hygiene, cleaning products, beauty products. So let's get into what I ordered. First of all, I got some toasted coconut flakes for the coconut pancakes, of course. It's just organic coconut, sliced, dehydrated, and toasted. Oh, I got the Unreal candies to put around the cat cake. And something that I had a lot of fun shopping for was little canned beverages in reference to Red's Raffle in Animal Crossing. But what's cool about Thrive Market is I can just go to the drinks category and I can filter it so that I only get shows the vegan items, which saves time and energy, obviously. Raspberry Rose Poppy, oat milk, nitro, cold brew latte, a matcha latte with adaptogens and macadamia milk, and a prebiotic lemon iced tea. I was gonna get maraschino cherries for the melon float, but honestly, I don't really like them. I wouldn't use them for anything else. They're just like, I don't really like the artificialness of them, but I found these on Thrive Market, which I'm very excited about because I think I would actually use these more than once. <laughs> and then the rest is just some cleaning products. For the house, I got some lavender laundry detergent, hand soap refill, Stocking up on the dish soap. Another thing that I really like about Thrive Market is that for every paid annual membership, they gift one to someone in need. I saved about $17.50 on my order today. If you want to also get access to the deals and goodies they have on Thrive Market, you can become a member by clicking the link in my description or going to thrivemarket.com slash Emily Ewing. You can get 30% off your first order as well as a free gift worth up to $60. You can also sign up now to take advantage of their huge sale on gluten-free and low-sugar essentials this week only. Thank you again to Thrive Market for sponsoring this video and we will get back to the rest of it. All right. Bread gratin. Gratin. Mushrooms first. Oh, mushrooms, shrooms, mushrooms first. Yup. Stirring them. Just dry. Getting that mushroominess. Okay, eventually they will look like this. Juicy. Very fragrant. You just have to keep going. Persevere. Now that they're beautiful and amazing, I'm gonna put them to the side. And I am very much just um, winging it right now. I don't really know. I'm gonna put a bunch of butter because I'm not gonna use cream. I'm just gonna use milk, so I need a lot of like fat. Chicken, chicken. Lots of seasonings. And now onions. I watched some other TikToks making bread gratin gratin. And I got my ideas. None of them were vegan, so, you know, I'm just figuring it out. But I think this is gonna be very delicious. And this is where many people would be upset with me. Ever since I went to my parents' house, I just use this all the time now. Because it's always here! I need flour, and I'm just gonna sprinkle it all over everything. Lots of flour. And coating everything with it. I'm gonna put these into really winging it, okay? And I'm gonna put some almond milk, a little bit of oat milk. I don't know, I don't wanna put too much oat milk because I feel like it's definitely gonna taste like um, oat milk if I do too much. I'm gonna put partial, <laughs> partial almond milk and stir it all in, baby. Creamy time. Chicken flavored bouillon powder. Putting in some greens. 
like a soup. It's like a weird little soup. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more almond milk. I think I'm also gonna add, I need to stop leaving this. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit of bouillon as well. More than a little bit. Mmm. It looks like this. Unfortunately, with the whole um, having to film a TikTok thing, I can't like look up the picture of the thing on my phone. So I guess I'm gonna go by memory. This is not the right kind of bread for this, but what the hell, man? Sprouts didn't have any bread bowls, and this is all that Walmart had. I was quite disappointed. This is so hard. How am I gonna do this? I'm gonna try my best. Why is it impenetrable? This one's gonna be like, a really small lid. Okay, yeah. I think we're gonna have to go with the other one. I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna rip it out. I will just like snack on this bread with butter. It's so good. Bread bowl, red bowl. They are not the same, but that's okay. I'm going to put some olive oil on here just to get it nice and cute and toasty on the outside, I guess. Oiled up crispy, 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 crispy. I was sorry. Just... Oh, yummy. Look how fun, look how fun, look how fun, look how fun. And there's a mound of bread over here. I'm gonna put a bunch of cheese on top. Cheese, cheese, cheese on top. In the game, there's like little chunks on top of it, on top of the cheese. I don't know if this is gonna work. Like, it might just burn. You know what I mean? Like, if I did this, and I'm sorry that this is kind of gross looking, but this is the way that I have to do it. <laughs> okay, it's going in the oven. <gasps> it looks so perfect. I was scared once. I'm so happy with how this looks. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, that's the wrong game. It's gorge. It's gorge. And here's the lid. Do that? No. Do that? You get the idea. Look at how gorge he is. Ta da! Fuck, I have to do that for everything. Actually, it's very soupy still. It's very delicious. It's kind of sweeter than I would have guessed, and I guess it's the milk, but I don't mind it. It's kind of like a nice, sweet, I can't explain it. This is so delicious. Wait, I want like a cheesy. Mm. Mm. Okay, so yeah, it just says, it's called melon soda, but it's clearly a float. This is the closest thing I could get to the shape of the melon float in the game. I have some club soda. I got this melon um, syrup from the Asian grocery store. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it. I mean, I'm sure I'll like it, but I don't know how much I'm gonna like it. The only like melon flavored things that I've had is Midori like liquor. I don't know, and I really like that, so. Oh. oh my god. I'm just gonna pour some in here and hope it's not too much. I never had like melon boba, melon milk tea or anything like that. I always wanted to try it, but I was scared I wouldn't like it. I'm gonna use this fun spoon, even though it's way too big for this. There's no ice in the game, but I feel like it needs ice. That already, that's already like sweet enough. I want it to be more green. It's so weird. <laughs> it's not green enough, but it's kind of like, I don't love it. So I think that's as good as we're gonna get. Should I just do one scoop of ice cream? Please. <laughs> Ew, it looks disturbing. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, this is not gonna work. I can't set this on there. Ew, this looks so weird. Is this gonna work? I'd be fucking it up. I'd be fucking it up. No! Oh, a straw! <laughs> no! No! 
This is kind of nasty. I'll be completely honest. I don't really like this at all. I don't like the flavor. I don't. Oh, good love. I was excited to also make like melon milk teas with it, but now I'm afraid. I do like this ice cream though. Octonuts. Why is it Octonuts? This is definitely referencing Octonauts, the show. So I have to make a fruit smoothie, like an Animal Crossing. And I thought about doing like a poll to ask people like what fruit should I make the smoothie of, you know? Um, but then I was like, I don't want to do that because then what if people pick like pear, you know? And I don't want to make a pear smoothie. So then I thought maybe it's just cute to make the smoothie of my island which is a cherry island. And I'm not one of those people who like restarts until I get the right fruit that I wanted, okay? Actually, cherry was the fruit that I wanted, so. But I, still, I wouldn't have restarted, I swear. You know, I love making smoothies that have like nuts, seeds, whatever in them to have like healthy fat and protein, blah, blah, blah. But I wouldn't put peanut, I mean, I would put peanut butter, but peanut butter feels a little bit too peanut butter for a cherry smoothie, you know what I mean? Like I feel like it'll overpower the cherry of the smoothie. I was gonna get almond butter, but then I saw this cashew butter on sale at Grocery Outlet. I don't usually put yogurt in smoothies because vegan yogurt is kind of expensive. So I like don't want to get used, get too used to it, you know, can't get too comfortable. But occasionally when I do, because I got like yogurt on sale or whatever, it's so exciting. It feels like such a special time. Oh my God, I could have just followed the smoothie recipe on the bag of the cherries. If any smoothie is gonna be cherry full, delicious. It's gonna be the smoothie recipe on the cherry bag. Neil's cherry jam and smoothie. Cherries, banana, yogurt, coconut. Never mind. Never mind. It has coconut water in it. Approximately one banana. No kitty. This is gonna be too good. This is about to be too delicious. I hate to say it. Cherries are an underrated smoothie ingredient. I'm telling you, berries. Love them, they are great. But, have you had cherries? Oh, I put too so much milk, didn't I? It's not red enough. Mm. More cherries. If it's too much, ooh, juice, juice. Uh-oh, that's not a good sign. It's very cherry-licious. Oh. You know what? It doesn't have to look just like in the game. It's beautiful still. And what do they say? A flower looks nothing like a sunset. But that doesn't mean that both of them are not still beautiful. Amen. It's so good though. Mm. Oh my God. So I also tried to make the chocolate dip donuts from Red's Raffle in the game, but I was having a lot of technical difficulties with my camera while filming. So I just ended up focusing on the phone footage. So you'll see that on TikTok Reels shorts someday. <laughs> Imagine me walking around your island, ignore my pants. Imagine I'm just walking around your island like this. You know, with the donut in hand like this. Like, hey. Salad stuffed tomato. I forgot you could do this. <gasps> Look at it. I have some beefsteak tomatoes right now, but I realized too late that <laughs> they don't have stems. It's all, it's completely fine, but it would have been a lot cuter if they had stems. So I'm just like letting you know. It's not completely clear like what is in the salad stuffed tomatoes, like everything in Animal Crossing. There's no way of actually knowing like exactly what is supposed to be in the thing unless you were to like ask someone from Nintendo who designed it. So it's up to interpretation, but I just like did a quick Google of salad stuffed tomatoes because I never heard of them before. And a lot of the recipes that come up have like shredded chicken or tuna in them. One came up that was like vegetarian salad stuffed tomatoes and I just thought that'd be like easier, you know? So yeah, but it did have feta in it. So I got the Trader Joe's feta. And I'm realizing now that maybe I should put like chickpeas in this because that would add like a protein, you know? So then it'd be more of like a meal. Move this up a little. 
So I'm gonna start with the chickpeas. I'm just mashing them up a little so it kind of blends into the rest of it more. There's something yellow in the Animal Crossing one that kind of looks more like corn, but I don't really feel like making something with corn. So I kind of just ignored that. Personally, cut the top off. Try to do my best to make it equal all the way around. Not too bad, okay. And then I have a grapefruit spoon, so I'm gonna use that to scoop the innards out. I don't know, like I don't really get this. I guess it's good if you really like tomato, like raw tomato. I like tomato, but not. I'm not that much of a tomato freak. Ew. Should I put all that juice in there? Probably, it's just more like dressing, I guess. Super duper fun. I'm gonna put these on a plate along with the lids. I'm also gonna add salt and pepper. And then I'm gonna remove this nastiness and cut it up. Cucumber, purple onion, and I'm crying now. I'm gonna use two of these. The recipe that I'm using as inspiration said green olives. I looked in my parents' fridge and I see that they have green olives. We love olives in this house. We got some fresh mint. I'm just gonna grab like this much, okay? I'm making such a mess. Lastly, lemon juice and Olive oil, Whee! whatever this is. Oh, oh, and oregano, as per the recipe we're using for exp expiration, inspiration. I bet that looks fantastic, absolutely. And we're going to mix it all up. I love how I wasn't even going to put chickpeas in it, and then now the chickpeas have become like the star of the show. Let's try some. It needs more salt. I think it could use more oil. And more lemon, more of it. Definitely better. Tastes good. Now I'm gonna scoop the filling into the tomatoes. Yum. Are you ready? Ooh, got him, boys. Oh, very fun, very fun indeed. Ooh. And I'm going to eat it like this for the what's it called? The hook. Ooh. I would add like vinegar, like balsamic vinegar or something, or more lemon juice, more salt. I think it just needs more salt, honestly. It's a fun little thing. Opening another one of my canned beverages. I love these. What is that hand? fun. Trader Joe's Heavy Whipping Cream, which I've never used before, but I'm so excited about. I don't remember how much it was, but I feel like it wasn't too bad. Can I make like cold foam with this? I've never tried a cold foam. Always wanted to. People act like it's so fun. I'm just gonna follow the recipe that's on the back of this. It's also Trader Joe's Vanilla Extract. We are gonna be using this retro ass mixer that my parents probably got when they got married. It was probably on their registry, I'm guessing. But something about it being brown is like satisfying to me. Do you know what I mean? Appliances now are always um, silver, white, black. Actually, they're not usually white, are they? Sometimes. But like something about it being like brown, something about that makes me happy. Moving in. The bowl is too small. This bowl's also not that big. I mean, okay, but this is doing really well though. Like, I'm, I'm happy. This is a good product. Hell yeah, bitch. Sorry. So I got the five fruits. I got an apple. It's not quite the red apple in the game, but like, no offense, I don't really want that anyways. And then I have a pear. I guess I should have got the more like pinky peach, but I couldn't get fresh. Cherries, nobody has fresh cherries right now, so I got frozen cherries. Oh, I already, god damn it. Well, this is not off to a good start. How should I put the apple in there? Peach. So it's actually not entirely clear what fruits are supposed to be 
in the sandwich in the game. All the other like mixed fruit items in the game use all the fruits, right? So you would think that the mixed fruit sandwich does too, but then it doesn't call for all the fruits like the other ones do. And also it kind of looks like there's like strawberries in it, but then I looked closer and I was like, actually those could be cherries. It's unclear. Okay, I'm gonna leave the peels on the fruits because I feel like that would be cuter. And I don't have like Japanese milk bread, which I know you're supposed to use, uh, but I don't have that and I don't know where I would get it. And also I don't think it'd be vegan. So I'm using this. It's, it's a soft bread, so I think it would be good. Usually people use strawberries, right? But they put them sideways so that when you cut the sandwich open, you get a strawberry cut in half, you know, and it's like the triangle heart shape. But in the game, there's circles. Then I was like, no, what if they're cherries? Put a layer of whip first. So I'm gonna put cherries like this. Hopefully you guys see my vision. A slice of peach, a slice of pear. Okay, like that. And then I'm just gonna put apple on the outside. Fill in the gaps with the whipped cream. I don't have a lot of faith in this, but it's okay. Put whipped cream on this slice. Okay. Oh, and it needs to be cut this way. You have to remember what way it should be cut. This way. Magnet sight. I don't know about this, you guys. Okay. Actually, I realized that in the game, it shows two halves of sandwiches. So you'd think that's one sandwich, but there's no way they're the same sandwich because the insides look different. So I will do another one now, and this one will be the other sandwich. I'm scared. It's very soft. It's not very firm. I'm guessing that more sugar would help with that. Oh no, the cherry came out. <gasps> Dude, I did this again. I keep turning the plate around so I didn't know where to cut it. Ah. Oh wait, I can figure it out. It's this way. Okay, Marmon of Troth. Um, yeah. That's kind of cute. Okay, it's kind of cute. I'm gonna cut it first like that. These work. Marmon of Troth yarn. Um, well, you know. <laughs> you can't even like tell the freaking cherry is there, but it's okay. And now I take a bite. Mmm. To be honest, I already tried some of the other sandwich. Next time I would put a little more sugar in the whipped cream, I think. And yeah, I wanna try it with strawberries. Also mandarins would definitely be better than oranges, but I just wanted to use an orange. But the orange flavor is really good in there because it balances with the cream well. I don't love the pear in there that much, but I'm also just not much of a pear fan, so. Oh, and the apple, don't love either. Peaches and the oranges are really good. Okay, but this is what I wanted to make. I wanted to make the fruit syrup. I think it's the Korean fruit syrup. I think it's called Chung, um, like C-H-E-O-N-G. When I saw this in the game originally, I was like, what is that? Like, why does it look like there's like salt in there or something? Like I couldn't tell that it was sugar, you know? I was like, that doesn't look like syrup. I'm confused. But later on, I saw a bunch of TikToks of people making Chung, Chung. And it's basically like you just put a bunch of fruit and sugar in a jar and leave it for like a week or longer. It makes like a really flavorful syrup that you can strain out or not strain out. So I was like, I should make that for the video cause that's like fun. And maybe other people playing the game also were like me and didn't know what this was cause it just says fruit syrup, you know? I mean, I think that's what they mean for this to be. If anyone has any other information, feel free to let me know. That looks so good. So a lot of you guys know how I feel about baking. Uh, brings me a lot of anxiety and a lot of the time I hate it more than enjoy it. I always love to eat baked goods though, obviously. And there's all these really, really cute loaves in the game. 
of the different fruits and vegetables and stuff, you know? And I felt like the orange loaf, the orange pound cake was especially cute and interesting to me. I love lemon bread uh, and lemon flavored things, so I figured I should also love orange flavored bread slash cake. And I love the way they played it in the game with the orange slices on top. I think it's so cute. Um, so I found a pretty simple recipe. The only like more expensive or abnormal things that I had to get for it was some vegan yogurt and also this orange essence that I got from the Asian grocery and it smells so good. Another thing was I definitely forgot that in the game there is chunks of like crystallized or whatever orange in the loaf, uh, like throughout the loaf. Definitely forgot about that. But anyways, I probably wouldn't have preferred to have those in there anyways, so it all whatever. Even though the baking part stresses me out, I had a lot of fun plating it um, and looking at it after it was plated. Of course it was delicious right away, but it was all the more extra fantastically magically delicious after squeezing more orange juice on it straight from the, you know, fruit. Like, w after the loaf cools, poke a bunch of holes in it and then just squeeze, like, a bunch of orange all over it. If you love the, like, super orangey flavor, you know? Because then it was just, like, oh, so freaking good. Oh my god. So yeah, we'll definitely make this again. Okay, last thing for this video is the Olivier salad, which I was very excited to make. Um, it's basically just a potato salad with a lot more going on, which I really appreciate. Also, at this point, it was like the last thing that I made for this video. I had already grocery shopped so much, so I ended up kind of just doing something inspired by the salad. I don't know how like proper it really is, you know? Like for example, it calls for ham and I had a bunch of hot dogs in the freezer, vegan hot dogs. So I used those, which I believe is quite similar. Plus also if I'm veganizing the recipe, it's already not like proper, so you know? I also use these dilly beans instead of dill pickles, which I kind of regret. And also it needed more pickles. Anyways. So I bought these wonder eggs. I found them at Grocery Outlet, which is crazy because I've never seen them at Grocery Outlet before. And then the one time that I actually want hard boiled eggs for a recipe from the Grocery Outlet. They were still $5 though, so I don't really have very many. I wasn't gonna spend $10 on six eggs. I actually don't smell anything. I thought it would smell super eggy. Oh. I tried to pop it out and I almost popped the yolk out. So strange. Ooh, they're quite fragile and the yolks separate from the rest of it pretty easily. I feel like when I cut it up, they're just gonna completely separate. Here they are. Don't know about this. Don't know about this. It like doesn't taste like egg to me. I don't know what I'm tasting. It's not bad. Okay, so I get a slight egginess from it, but I don't know. It's so weird. Ooh, hot and down. Seems like people tend to put a lot, like I said, a pound. I don't know about that because I don't know how much I love these. I'm going for this whole bag. There's like barely any potato in this. I don't really get it. Ew. I don't like this method. I don't like peeling after boiling, but that's what everyone said to do. It's much messier and I'm ruining the carrot. Look at this mutilation. Oh, I guess I could have put them in like an ice bath. I'm gonna put them in a pea bath. For reals. Because the peas are frozen and the potatoes are hot. Yup. This looks really um, interesting. Finally, we begin. I'm putting it at the bottom because allegedly this helps stir it in easier. Potatoes and carrots, peas, ham. See, like, I feel like that's enough ham. I don't need any more. Never been a ham girly. Not so much a vegan ham girly either. Eggs. Ooh. Onion. The pickles, which are not cucumbers. Check it out. Check it out. Not every recipe that I saw used dill, but I would like dill. I really like dill, so I'm just gonna cut it like this. I'm giving it a haircut. Salt and pepper. Very exciting. I 
love how colorful it is. I love how there's so many different textures and so many things in here. This could be like an actual meal. Like you could just have this for lunch instead of like a potato salad American style. It is like just like a carb, you know? It's even with the peas, it's like double protein. Ooh. You can use a little more, is, is this all even coming out? Like more pepper, but it's very good. I love it. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna pack it in my matcha bowl. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Really cool that you stuck around all the way to the end. Also, thank you to Thrive Market for sponsoring this video. If you want to become a member of Thrive Market, you can click the link down in the description below or go to thrivemarket.com slash emilyewing. You can get 30% off your first order as well as a free gift worth up to $60. My other socials will be down below. If you like it, please subscribe, like the video, comment, turn on post notifications. You can become a member if you want to support the channel. Also, I have a Patreon, but it's mostly for my second channel that I really want to get going again. Anyways, okay, so see you, see you later. See you later. Let's make the whole afternoon tea set. Just kidding. I would like cry and break down.